Hey, what's up guys? Girl of Bear Tech back at you again, this time with another RC review of the amazing, there you go, you see in the all its gloriness, Traxxas C Revo 1.8 scale brushless Mamba Monster 2 edition, baby. Alright guys, now real quick, to point out the cons, the only thing I don't like is the fact that, you know, wheelies too much, which, you know, wheelies are cool and everything, but it kind of interferes with my speed. Or I should say my total speed in miles per hour. And uh, two, these tires, uh, they tend to wear out quickly. So watch out for that, guys, if you do plan on purchasing a uh, Traxxas E Revo 116 or 18 scale. Okay? Now, Traxxas claims this is 110. But, guys, that's total BS. This is not 110 scale at all. It's way too big to be 110 scale. Makes my Rustlers, my Bandit, my Slash... It makes all of them look smaller, and it's got a really wide uh, wheelbase. So, basically, it's a truggy with monster truck size tires, okay? Because these tires are even bigger than your average buggy tires that are even 1.8 scale that are really, really large. These still are a lot bigger than those. So, you know, just to let you know, heads up, guys. You know, if you're planning on purchasing an E-Revo, it is a monster truck truggy hybrid, but it looks more like a truggy. All right, guys? Now, that one con with the wheelie ordeal, you know, that's fine with me, okay? Another thing that I want to point out was, uh, what was it going to be? Was the fishtailing, okay? So, yeah, you know, all RC cars tend to fishtail at times. You know, it's okay. It's natural. You know, when you're going above, you know, 40 to 50 miles per hour, I mean, come on, what do you expect? You know? Now, for all the great things, guys, this isn't a review to bash the E-Revo. This is a review to actually give it a lot of props and to say that this has a lot more pros than it does any cons at all. This is an absolute monster. It's an absolute beast. The speed that you get out of the box with the, uh, with the uh, pinion and spur combination that tracks it claims will give you 65 plus is actually not what comes in the truck. So, out of the box... I'm here to tell you that this truck will easily do 50 to 55 miles per hour. My uh, my buddy actually raced me in his real car down the street in my neighborhood. And he told me I was easily going 55 because we we're about neck and neck. So, you know, from his claims and what he said, from his perspective, it does 55 max on stock gearing. And stock gearing is a 18 tooth pinion and a 65 tooth spur gear. I'm currently running, since then, a 26-tooth Robinson's Racing Pinion and a 54-tooth Plastic Spur Gear made by Traxxas. Okay, guys, and I know for a fact I'm getting just about 70 or maybe a little bit more than 70. But it should easily be hitting above 70 miles an hour. But on average, I'm doing about 60 to 65, you know, which is still super fast, guys. I mean, that's just mind-blowing fast. Anyway, guys. To bring you to the truck now, as far as the looks of the truck, it is amazing. You get the truck just like the stock, except without the stickers that I put on the body. That's just uh, what I did, my little glitz and glamour on the truck. You do get this amazing TQ Bluetooth wireless link controller, but you do not get this Bluetooth chip at the back. I actually purchased that separately for 30 bucks. Traxxas makes you buy the Bluetooth chip separately for $30, guys. I'm sorry, that's not what I did. That's not my deal. Uh, it's none of my concern, but uh, it is a little bit disappointing when you're investing $600 in a truck like this. Well, $630 after taxes. But you do get a great package deal. Uh, it doesn't come with lipo batteries or nickel metal batteries, but it's okay. You know, you can always have your own separate lipos laying around. Uh, this truck used to cost $850 to, to, uh, to about $1,200, bucks, so... Basically, the price of the Traxxas X-Max right now uh, used to be the original price of this truck when it first came out. But yeah, guys, for $599, it's a great deal. Now, on to the tires. The tires are great, guys. You know, but the only thing is they do bald a little too quick. Actually, a lot quicker than the, uh, than the tires on the Rustler. But um, they're not bad tires at all, guys. These tires actually suit this truck a lot. And um, they're fantastic tires. Perfect for off-roading and perfect for on-roading. Okay. Front stock bumper, of course. Everything is stock. 
you know, that's the body. I got the blue one. I like blue. Now for the insides. Bam. There you go, guys. So really badass truck. I don't know what else to say. I can't complain. Trax has really put together a well thought out, you know, piece of art. Okay. I mean, this is a piece of art when it comes to Traxxas. Traxxas did a great job on this truck, guys. Instead of, you know, the normal layout of shocks being on the outside of an RC car or a truck, etc., etc., with the E-Revo, they come laid down on the inside. Okay? So you get progressive loaded spring shocks. You know, also aluminum. They're not plastic like the Rustler. Uh, well, the Rustler stocks are aluminum on the inside. The rod is aluminum, but the, the, uh, the shocks themselves are not made out of aluminum. But this one does have aluminum uh, parts on the shocks, okay? Progressive springs. Does come with a long travel rocker set. Does come with extra tools. Lots of goodies, guys. So, you know, basically you're not going to be left, you know, out in the dust. You know, Traxxas supplies you with everything you need to begin with. So, for starters, you get everything you need. Basically, the long travel rocker set, guys, it increases the right height on this truck. And it makes it more just for bashing. So if you're going to use the long travel suspension set, which is these things right here, the progressive, uh, the, the cantilever arms, whatever they call them. I think they call them cantilevers. Yeah, the cantilevers. Um, basically, if you swap those out and go with the long travel set, the long travel will be a little bit longer. And basically, it's just to increase the ride height and, you know, use it mainly for bashing. But... Stock out of the box, guys. This is meant for racing. And by default, it's got the uh, the racing cantilevers equipped already. So you're basically good to go, guys. This is what it looks like from the back. TRX rear bumper. And, of course, balding to the extreme. Noticed, uh, I noticed that a lot of... Balding happens usually on the rear of every RC car than on the front. It always happens to the rear first. Don't know why exactly, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. I'm not trying to sound dumb. But yeah, guys, that's about it. You know, very simple. This does accept up to 6 cell lipo power. Okay, guys, so you can only go up to 6S. That's all that this electronic speed control will accept. Anything over that, like 8 cell, you know, 10, 12 cells, you're going to kill your truck. <laughs> you know, unless you go with something a little bit bigger, of course. You know, not that this isn't small because, or not that it is small because it's not. Uh, this motor is a tank. <laughs> it's a huge can. And it's a lot longer than the VXL 3500 KV. So that's the box art right there. You got the top right there. And you do get a little speed chart at the bottom, guys, at the bottom left. And that tells you, you know, how you can go, you know, 45, 50 miles, 65 plus and beyond, etc. So, you know, this truck amazingly comes with a, with a speed chart, which is great. All RC cars should. I don't see that with a lot of their uh, RC cars. So it's good that Traxxas actually did that this time. But there you go, guys. Pause and read for yourself if you have to, you know. I always encourage that. You know, having that knowledge, you know, having everything down before you make a purchase is always smart. Now, guys, you can get this at TowerHobbies.com for a little cheaper. I'd say for around 600 you know, 610, something like that. I got it for 630 from Hobbytown USA. By the way, Hobbytown USA, they're great. They're fantastic people. If you want good deals on RC cars, just go to Hobbytown USA. You know, or the usual, ordering online, just finding good deals. Just beware. Be smart. Not saying none of you are. And of course, waterproof. So this system is waterproof. I don't know if the motor is actually waterproof, but let's see right here. I think it is. Okay, yeah, waterproof brushless system. So it is, guys. Mamba, you know, the Mamba Monster system back in the day when it first came out, the first one, it didn't have the uh, it didn't have the technology that the Mamba Monster 2 has currently. So 
that's great news. You guys can actually go in the water. You can go in the dust, mud. It's meant for that. So there you go, guys. I'm using one hand, so bear with me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, blue. You get uh, three additional colors besides blue. You get silver. You get like a reddish silver and you get a red. Is that black actually? I think it's like a, yeah, it's like a black. Okay, yeah, so there you go, guys. Pretty much showed you everything you needed to see. That's about it. Like I said, everything is stock on this truck. I didn't tamper with anything. The only thing I changed was the gearing. That's about it. I bought this just like that, brand new. Excuse the stuff on the bed, the other stuff. I already reviewed all that. I got it out of the way, so. <laughs> That's about it, guys. There it is, just to get a good look at it. Look at this beast. This truck is a beast, guys. It's an absolute monster. And the sound that it produces compared to all my other RC cars is just crazy. I've had people actually approach me and ask me if this was a nitro. <laughs> so, <laughs> this thing is loud, guys. It's a monster. I mean, for you guys that actually own it, all my fellow YouTubers, you know how badass this truck is. And to you guys that don't own one yet, if you can own just one RC car, ladies and gentlemen, this would be it. It would be this truck. Okay? If you can only go with one good RC car, all right, this would be it. You know, I'm sure there's other ones like Arma Nero and all that. You know, Arma's got some good stuff too. But uh, I will be buying an Arma in the future, so stay tuned for that. And I will perhaps get a Traxxas Summit, so also stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much for putting, for basically putting up with me throughout this long, you know, stretched out review. You know, I try to do the best that I can. If I have hiccups here and there, you know, I pause. You don't have to think what I'm saying. That's just how I do reviews. You know, forgive me for that. You know, I know, I'll, I know I will be criticized for it throughout my YouTube journey, but hey, it's okay. I'm trying to improve, so I will improve. You can count on that. Um, there you go, guys. Traxxas C Revo, 1.8 scale Mamba Monster 2 Brushless Edition. Any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Please like, share, dislike, subscribe, and click the notification bell, guys. This is Gorilla Bear Tech signing out to the next review. You guys have a great day.